Hydrohalogenation is a reaction that takes place between an alkene and an HCl molecule. This reaction is very similar to hydrogenation or halogenation. The carbon-carbon double bond is converted to a carbon-carbon single bond, and the two components of the HCl molecule are added to the two carbons of the alkene. So one of the carbon atoms gets the hydrogen and the other carbon atom gets the chlorine. In addition to using HCl for this reaction, we could also use HBr or we could use HI. Let's take a look at another example of this reaction. So what if we had this alkene right here? It's a little bit more complicated and let's react it with HBr, just like we've seen in previous reactions. Sometimes people write the HBr or the HI or the HCl on top of the reaction arrow. And let's predict the products of this reaction. Our carbon-carbon double bond is gonna be converted to the single bond, and all of the things that are already on the carbon will continue to stay on the carbon atoms. So we'll be adding the HBr molecule to the carbons of the alkene. Now here's where we have a question. We're gonna be putting the hydrogen on one carbon and the bromine on the other. In which way should we put them? Should we put the hydrogen here and the bromine over here? Or should we reverse it? Should we put the bromine here and the hydrogen over here? Because this does generate two different molecules. In a situation like this, we have something called Markovnikov's rule to help us make prediction about where the hydrogen should go and where the bromine should go in this type of reaction. Markovnikov's rule says that the hydrogen atom will attach itself to the carbon atom that has the most bonds to hydrogen. So let's kind of write that down up here. The hydrogen atom goes to the carbon atom of the carbon-carbon double bond that has the most carbon-hydrogen bonds already present. So it's just gonna add one more carbon-hydrogen bond. This carbon atom right here has two carbon-hydrogen bonds. This carbon atom right here has only one. Remember, we're only counting the carbon-hydrogen bonds that are attached directly to the two carbons of the alkene. So these hydrogens down here don't count. So this is the carbon that has the most bonds to hydrogen, and that's where our new hydrogen atom will go. I'm actually gonna make this a different color. So the new hydrogen will go onto that carbon and the bromine will go onto the other carbon. And again, this is what we call Markovnikov's rule. Let's look at one more example, this time with line structure. Markovnikov's rule is a little bit trickier when you're using line structure because the hydrogen atoms are not visible to you. So you have to think about where the hydrogen atoms are located. One thing we know for sure though, we are going to get rid of the carbon-carbon double bond and convert it to a single bond. And we are going to be adding a new bond in this position and a new bond in this position right here, the two carbon atoms of the of the uh, alkene. One of those carbon atoms is, or one of these bonds is gonna become a bond to the hydrogen and the other will become a bond to the iodine. But which should go where? Should the hydrogen go here or should the hydrogen go here? To help us, we're gonna go back to the original line structure and we're gonna use the line structure to figure out how many hydrogen atoms were already on these carbons. This carbon atom has one, two, three bonds that we can see, which means it has one bond to hydrogen. This carbon atom has one, two, three, four bonds that we can see, so it has no hydrogen at all. This is the carbon atom that already has a bond to hydrogen, and that means that we want to add another hydrogen atom in that position, and that means that our iodine will go over here. Now, one thing that I've done here in this drawing is I've broken a rule of line structure. Remember, in line structures, we don't show carbon-hydrogen bonds or hydrogen atoms that are attached to carbons. So to clean this up and make it correct, I actually need to erase this right here. And again, the reason I'm re erasing it is because this is not allowed in a line structure. In a line structure, we cannot draw carbon-hydrogen bonds or hydrogen atoms. So we'll just get rid of it like that. And this is all that we would end up showing.